Tomorrow on the program, Anthony, the debut of the Vag Pump. No way, that's tomorrow? The debut of the Vag, vag Pump on the Opie and Anthony program tomorrow. We discovered this little device while we were out in Las Vegas for the porn convention. And the fine people that make the Vag uh, Pump gave us one to use. And, of course, Martini Steve is lining up the girls as we speak. Nice. Stop it. Kick-ass production does that. Where, where is he going to get these girls? I don't know. Let's get Steve in here if we can. Because this is like a... This isn't something you just invite some girl in off the street to do. This Vag Pump, we saw uh, pictures of the results of it when we were in Vegas. And, oh, my God. Big, just nasty, swollen, red, bloody mm. mess. Nice. Mmm. That's Steve. what was in Don Geronimo's driveway, too. <laughs> <laughs> you got girls lined up for the vag pump for tomorrow? Oh, yeah. It certainly looks like it. I'm, I'm praying to God they don't get freaked out. Oh, boy. How and many? Well, pitching uh, supposedly three. Have they ever done anything like that? No, and that's why uh -oh. I'm crossing my fingers, because these, these chicks tend to flake. Whenever you know they get faced with this, you know the yeah. the initial response is yeah, sure, it sounds like fun. Then as they start to see pictures and video, they go, <gasps> they understand what this entails. Yeah, well, I you know it, exactly. It's it's you send them pictures, and it's not like this thing is supposed to be painful. Every video I've ever seen of this thing in action is uh, is features a woman moaning in ecstasy. So I'm assuming it feels good. Ah, yeah. I where I, did you get the pump? Uh, Jeff from uh, Kickass gave me the thing, and it was he gave it to Norton and I when we were at dinner that one night in L.A. and we tried it out on our arms. You and did, yeah. It's, did you raise it, a hickey? Yeah, exactly. You did. Oh, that's yeah. what you told your wife. What? Uh, <laughs> it attacked my neck. Yeah, and my ball bag. <laughs> um, yeah, it's it looks like um like a plastic version of um. What the hell are those masks? Like an oxygen a, mask. Yeah, thank you. A plastic little oxygen mask, but it's transparent and plexiglass, and you put it on the, uh, you know, the badge. Pussy. The badge. Yeah, thanks. All right, I was trying to skip. What if it, it sucks the whole womb out? It doesn't do that though. It just, oh. you know, it just forms a vacuum and makes the skin Jeez. puff up and makes it really, really sensitive. Apparently. And you know what's working when the head and face start to get like shrunken? <laughs> yeah, it's like pulling her head into her neck. <laughs> yeah. When her ears are at shoulder level, <laughs> stop pumping. So we're, you know, we, we we've got some girls lined up, and we can always take more. Who yeah, are they? Uh, they are. are they porn chicks, I mean. Or yes, they, uh, yes. Definitely. Is it plug in or batteries? No, it's um, it's not, it's not powered, but it's just a, it's oh, got a pump on it. It's, it's got a hand pump. It's yeah. got like a little hand pump, and it looks like a tire gauge on top. Really, and you just kind of pump the air out. What what does it tell you to pump it down to a certain level, and then you leave it? No, this didn't not come with any instructions. No instructions. Yeah. Yeah. So you just slap it on. You slap it on, form a tight seal, and just pump, pump, pump until the skin starts to raise up. And then you, you know, wait a little bit until it gets a little comfortable. And then you do it a little bit more, then a really little bit more. Oh, we're man. gonna see. Who the hell came up with this one? Yeah. Look at J Jimmy. I got a rod. That's so oh, hot. God. <laughs> it is not hot. It's not hot. That one's. The final result is uh, quite disturbing. Oh, it looks like bubbles ass after Michael Jackson's <laughs> done with it. It does. It kind of looks like puffy mandrel ass. Do you want some girls to just show up tomorrow? Yeah, please. Maybe some girl just walking off the street as well? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. A, re a regular girl? Yep. That'd be cool. Get girls your, uh... can't be shy. Like, put that across. You can't come in here and be shy about something like this. This is, we're going to see your snatch. It's not going to hurt either. Relax. It's not, it's, there's no plug-ins like he said. It's just That's silly. Great. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Then maybe Patrician can come in with his, his fuck swing. <laughs> And we can uh, just, you know, push you around the room and put lamps in your ass. <laughs> like something else that he'd enjoy. <laughs> Sexual dildos. sociopath. Yeah, glass dildos. I, I can't wait to get Patrice back on the oh, program. Oh, yeah. Gotta see a filth bag. But tomorrow's, <laughs> it's the Vag Pump on the Opie yeah. Anthony program. Yeah. God willing. I don't know if I want to see this. I do. I, I want to see it, but... I don't know. It does nothing for me as far as being a sexual thing. It's like a freak show kind of thing. I want to see it, but it's not going to be like Jimmy where he's adjusting himself, thinking oh. about it. Uh, all right. Keeping clear stuff. And yeah. people will uh, be able to check out some pictures and video. Oh, yes, they will. Oh, yeah. yes, they will. Speaking of which, how's uh, Rate My Wow going? It's going very well. It's going very well. Jeff pulled an all nighter, got every picture up. So I got I to gotta thank Ooh. him for that. And then we got like four new ones overnight. So, uh, yeah, yeah, Steve started a new w website, ratemywow.com. Yeah. It's linked to all the other websites. And basically, it's all the old photos of girls flashing us, right? Yeah. It's just all the old wow photos of just boobs and wow pictures and. You know, pairs and, you know, several boobs, and it's just great. Yeah, that was when I 
maybe last night. I had to have some fun with Photoshop. Wait, you did that one? Yeah. Oh, that's hilarious. I put I put Don's face on Cruella Deville's body. <laughs> <laughs> it's a new movie, A Hundred Dalmatians. Oh, and that one too. I was a little bored last night, so I jumped on Photoshop. Yeah, uh, it's Casey Kasem popping out of the hedges at Don's house with a dead dog laying in the driveway, <laughs> and Casey's saying, "How the hell can he come out of a goddamn up-tempo number into a goddamn dog dying?" Yeah, you got to go to whackbag.com and go uh, to Photoshop. There's always some good Photoshops yeah. going on every day that have something to do with the program. So. All right, so RateMyWow.com is going well. And, and you go on there, you check out uh, Topless Girls, and then you rate them and stuff, right? Yeah, exactly. And, and guys, stop sending in pictures of yourselves. That's really awful. Uh, you guys right. What? Yeah, these guys are sending in pictures. Like guys in What's their dorm, wrong with guys? Dorm rooms holding up big wow stickers. I'm like, guys, no, no, it's defeating the purpose. Like every other picture is of boobs, and some dope in his dorm room is sending me a picture of himself. I don't think I don't want to see asses. That. Hey, uh, That's click fun. on, go up, yeah. up, up. No, no, I said up. Down, up, he down, said. down, 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 one, right there. From a distance, though. Wow. Jesus. <laughs> that could be, That'd like, be huge. as far as big boobs go, that could be the nicest set of big That's boobs I've bad. ever seen, man. I saw the little thumbnail from a distance, and they really stood out. And she's uh, from Cleveland, it looks like, right? Yeah. Those look familiar. <laughs> like, like, How has far she ever you, been on the show? You know, I could I could tell you, like, some of the girls' names by just looking at their boobs. Yeah, she looks like... Uh, no, no, no. One of the girls that were on the show. That's uh, quite impressive, yes. Yeah. So there's plenty of boobs to check out at RateMyWow.com. Yeah, go back. Look at all the thumbnails. There's plenty of them. Oh, wait. Uh, you know, I was going nice. to play... All right, hold on. Tell Steve-O to hang out there for one second. He might go... Oh. Steve-O was supposed to call us around, uh, I don't know, 6 this well, morning. Get him. And, uh... And he's finally calling in from Los Angeles. Steve-O! Yeah, dude! What happened oh, wow. to you, man? You were supposed to call like two hours ago. Well, that shit, man. You know what? I told you, guy, that uh, he was better off calling me because I was wrecked. What happened? Uh, Why? Are you... I don't know, nothing, man. Like, uh, I was, uh, and I, I, I love with you, and I feel pretty unaccountable for what I say on digital radio. Right. Um, I was in the middle of a big drug binge. <laughs> oh, oh, what were you taking? Um, well, I got snowed in in West West LA. <laughs> snowed in. You, but, um, wow, he loves the coke. Jeez. But um, yeah. So then um, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Like uh, I had kind of a wild weekend. My and then my necessary hibernation went down. Yeah. And then um, and then I found out that uh, I had to film uh, this morning some stuff. I'm going to be on Jay Leno on uh, on the ninth. Oh, you are? Yeah. What are you going to do on Jay? It's my fourth time on Jay Leno. I'm really psyched. What do you do when you really? go on his show? Um, well, we'll play some, we'll play some clips. I filmed one special for, for Jay Leno. Then, uh, we, uh, we're, they're, we're, they're going to load up a kiddie pool full of alligators, and I have to frolic around in the pool until I get bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've seen you get bit by alligators. Laugh. Pretty funny. Um, yeah, and, I'm, and uh, yeah, now I'm not like you guys want digital radio, right? Yeah, and now I'm reduced to a, a, a digital TV star because uh, my, my my Wild Boy shows on MTV Two now. Oh, it is. But yeah, check out how cool of a guy I was. Like, I like, got uh, I took a like. Wow. A fistful of pills to try to make myself tired early last night, you know? Yeah. Because, uh, yeah, because I think it's that last minute. I got I to gotta, I gotta film in the morning. What kind of pills? Um, yeah, Vicodin and Xanax. Quite quite a bit of Xanax. A lot of Xanax, huh? Oh, my God. I'm in love with that stuff. Mellows you out? Yeah, yeah. It like makes you tired when, you know, when, you might, when you've only been awake for a few hours. Right. Yeah, so how have you guys been? Um, I, I'm single again. Remember I was dating that really rad model? Yeah, yeah, what happened? Well, I don't know, man. Now I've been back on the road, and, uh, you know, I, like, our relationship just couldn't handle the, the separation. I thought you guys were completely in love. Yeah, she was a knockout, man. She was, what, like, six foot tall, right? Yeah, no, she's amazing, yeah. She, she, she's amazing, but... um. I don't know, dude. Like, uh, I'm a bachelor. So yeah. what, what is it? Back a lot of you said for being a bachelor. Back to D? <laughs> oh, yeah. 
<laughs> Steve-O, you sound really out of it, man. Yeah, yeah I really am, man. Like, I was dead asleep when you guys called. But, uh, you know, I love you guys that much. Very good, yes. Oh, yeah. Aren't you worried about, aren't you worried about ODing? Ah, oh, man, no, dude, like, actually, last night I thought I might be pulling kind of a River Phoenix diet, is what I was thinking. And then I was like, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow, dude. You are so <laughs> fucked up. Dude, how A are real three-course River Phoenix meal. <laughs> Do you want us to call uh, the co I don't know call someone to help you out? You sound like you might need <laughs> you sound like you might need no, some no, help. No, man, I'm actually really excited, man. Well, I, I got I got Lennon coming up on the ninth. Um, the, the season premiere of uh, the, the third season of Wild Boys is premiering on MTV2 on March 11th, so that's rad. And then I got my Steve-O box set comes out March 18th. And then, uh, I don't know, I, I got a pretty big month coming up, so expect me to be really high or drunk, but probably both. Yeah, well, you got to stay alive if you're going to have a really big month, bro. I know, that's true. Oh, and I forgot to say, shit fuck. Yeah. There I you go. Radio. <laughs> I'm not allowed to say shit fuck all I want, right? You can say whatever you want, steve -O. Oh, man, what a pleasure. Are you going to be all right, though? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be absolutely fine. I'm going to go right back to bed, and then I'm going to wake up, and I believe I'm going to be attacked by an animal around 10 a.m. California time. Yeah, uh, you want to tell us about this party? It sounds like you had a, a great party, man. Um, well, no, uh, there hasn't really been a party. Like, uh, I was just trying to get, get like, uh, get in bed early to be professional, you know, for my filming. You, you can you know, barely understand what he's saying. But, uh, it sounds like a lot of the people are saying been he sounds like real to you, cannot, lately. you can't understand that. Oh, my God. And, like, uh, we were filming Wild Boys in Mexico, and uh, yeah. I met this little sweetheart. So I'm flying or I'm flying in the Mexican merchandise. <laughs> you're, you're, you're met a Mexican chick and you're flying her in? Yep, she gets in this afternoon. <laughs> Illegal alien? Um, yeah, she says, I don't know how that shit works, but she doesn't know she how it works. She's just... before she said. Oh, okay. She's a real deal. She hardly speaks a word of English. Is she your and mule? I to you. Speak the international language. They got something in common. <laughs> Is she your mule? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna speak the international language. I'm, I'm probably gonna eat her ass. <laughs> yeah, that pretty much did. There's there's no mistaking that when you're eating ass. You can't really know, read like, that in the translation. It's something that I've just recently picked up. You know, like, I, I didn't really just, I never discovered the joys of ass eating. <laughs> you know, but girls love it. Hey, Steve, yeah. face it. Steve, oh, how much? You know, not a lot of girls are going to ask you to eat their ass. No, But no. none of them are going to damn well tell you to stop. Right, you are. Steve, oh, how much Coke did you have over the weekend? Oh, um, enough to stay away for a couple of days. A couple of days straight? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then a handful of pills to, to get you to go to sleep. Yeah, so actually there were a couple of coke binges in the last few days. Turns out that the last few days was quite a long one. And you don't you don't worry about taking too many uh, sleeping pills or too many Xanaxes? Xanax? You know, I actually had a, a friend re recently die, not to make light of it, but uh, yeah, it turned out they died of, a, of taking alcohol and somas. And I thought somas were really mellow pills. But I don't know, you know, like... It's like my attitude about anything else, you know, like, I drink tap water on, on every continent, you know, like, just to build my immune system and make it stronger. Yeah, that's and true. And I think, really, the more pills I keep taking all the time, you know, like, the less likely I'll be to OD, you know. I'm really just trying to, trying to beef up my yeah. immune system. You drank tap water in Africa, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, Africa, Jeez. Indonesia. How crazy you know, like, is all that? Places. I may deliberately drink tap water. How bad you know, was the... If it doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger. How bad was the liquid diarrhea? <laughs> <laughs> um, so really, I, I, I can't say it was too, it was too bad. No. Hey, you know, yeah, I want to tell you guys, man, I feel really honored that, uh, you know, I, I just got this random call yesterday, and you guys said how, how, how you missed me, and, you know, like, Fuck you! Fuck yeah, man! I really feel the love, dude. And, and we love the Stevo. Well, we, we love the Stevo. We I, want. I, I hope to get out to New York soon, and, and boy, will I be a mess. <laughs> well, last time you were here, you were sleeping in the hall next to the elevator. Yeah. yeah. 
waiting to go and, on the uh, show. I'm taking it pretty, take it pretty easy. But yeah, you know, and then now that you guys are morning, it's a little bit tougher. Back in the good old days when I'd come in there in the afternoon, oh man, yep. pure gold. Those were the good old days, you're right. I know. I'll, I mean, I'll be really thinking of what to do when I get back in there next time. Yeah, you, you, uh, you got to come up I'm with something really good. Called, I'm, you know, I'm glad you called to check in. And uh, over here in, in Steve Land, everything's just happy as can be. <laughs> cool, Steve. Thanks, hey, man. Hey, Steve, before you go, could you say I'm not an animal? <laughs> I am not an animal. There you go. Thank I'm, you, Steve. I'm a very sensitive individual. <laughs> of course he is. <laughs> Dude, stay alive. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back to sleep, guys. Oh, I really appreciate you. You, you know, you calling to check in on me. You sure you want to you go know, back like, to sleep? And if you thought I was wasted last time, wait till you see me tonight. I think yeah. that's what Marilyn Monroe said. It didn't work out for her. No, I'm just gonna go back to sleep. Ah. <laughs> hey, you guys are fantastic, man. Like, I'll let you know when I come to New York, dude. All and right. it's on. All right, Steve-O. Hang in there. All right, hey, man. All the best, guys. All right, thank you, Steve-O. Uh, thank you. All right, there you go, Steve-O. There everyone. it is, the last interview <laughs> with Steve-O. That could possibly be his final interview. Wow. Oh, my God. That wow. guy is gone. He is so fucked up. I am um, I wanted to get involved on the, uh, the uh, Rate My Wow. I wanted to take a look at it, so I went to Foundry Music. Okay. And then I went to Opie and Anthony and... I'll be damned if I could find it anywhere. What? Uh, there's no link on opianthony.com? Um, well, maybe on opianthony.com. I went right to Foundry Music. Isn't it there? Isn't it hosted on Foundry Music? And then I go, and I'm looking for Hit it. Steve. I even put in Rate My Wow in the search engine for Foundry, and I came up with no results for Rate My Wow. It is the hardest site to navigate. I don't care what Steve C. says about it. He's re-engineered it. He's had people work on it. I can never find anything on Foundry. Steve. Steve, where is Rate My Wow on Foundry Music? Oh, it's actually, we haven't put it up yet. We, uh, oh, well, there you go. We put it right at the top of opianthony.com. It's one of the top links. I go to foundrymusic.com when I look for all, all my Opie and Anthony needs. Sorry. Uh, but... It's on opianthony.com. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. I just want to clear that up because I think a lot of people went to Foundry Music looking for it. I'm sorry. And and if you can't find it right away on Foundry, you just assume that it's lost somewhere and you spend hours looking no, for it. No, you don't get was. lost anymore. God, I don't remember signing this girl's boobs. Uh, They're beautiful, n- too. No, I don't remember that either. That's pretty cool. A lot of boobs. Very yeah. good. Some nice, some, uh, yeah, not so, ooh. Whoa, wow! Hey, look at that! Hey, Ruck, look at my nose. <laughs> There's something you don't see every day. Anyway, the torpedoes. Yeah, check it out for yourself. RateMyWow.com. Someone made a, a song about the new website already. Yeah, I know. I mean, it's not it's not the best, but I just thought it was neat considering we only announced it yesterday. This All guy right. came up with a song. All right, let's take a uh, quick listen. RateMyWow.com. You're infected. Now spread the virus. Here comes the virus. Oh! You're infected. Oh, 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 oh. We have a lot of hip hoppers that a listen to us. A lot of hip hop. What happened to the rockers that used to listen to us? Every song parody that comes in is a hip hop thing. Mm-hmm. Popular with the brothers. Take your tools. Take your tools. Take that tools. Take my tools. Wow. Uh. Yeah. Okay, terrific. That's it. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's what that song needed. Uh-huh. All right, well, there you go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't know what to think of that. Uh, RateMyWow.com. Cool. That was from uh, Johnny Five, by the way. Mm-hmm. Got a girl in the uh, supermarket holding up a bag of Lay's Wow potato chips and showing her uh, boobies right there in the supermarket. Yeah, yeah I'm going to spend some time shirt. on this website after the There's show. some uh, really, really cool wows there. And Mike from Long Island. Mike, what's up? Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey. I just want to let you know. I think Steve C uh, screwed up the uh, uh, the Foundry um, cut, the promo. What I do? He spelled it wrong. Uh oh, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. It's just, it just goes real fast. You sure? I, Positive, I dude. I edited much. it. I, 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 it just Ooh. goes real fast. Whoa! Look at Steve. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry, my editor. Defensive. No, it's hey, not hey, defensive. Hey, He's just wrong. All right, thank you. <laughs> All right. Hey, where did Jimmy go? Jimmy left a while ago. Jimmy had a hard on when we were talking about the vag pump, and then he, he, he pointed to his gut 
and 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 made the sign of my tummy hurts, and then he just took off. He's probably jacking. Probably got in there, had to take a dump, and he's sitting there going, eh, I got to Sometimes he gets so worked up that he has to go off and jerk he's off. He's got to go and jack it. We'll he's, see if he's honest with us when he comes back. He's an addict. All right, Ant, why don't we take a break, quick break, get into a couple other stories when we return. Also, I think, still to come on the show today, Frank Caliendo calling in. Uh-huh. And also, uh, The Rock. The Rock says... Uh, Dwayne Johnson. He's not The Rock. No, he's still The Rock, right? Playing a gay... Can he use that name? Yeah. How is that possible? Vince gets a cut every time he uses it. Oh, that's how it's every, possible. Every movie he does, you see at the end, it says uh, WWE Films kind of tie into it. Really? Yeah. So he can use The Rock, but he's got to get... Uh, but Vince... Uh, he Vince he, he owns The Rock, but Vince gets a cut of it, too. Well, uh, nice. The Rock is uh, an, an interesting guy. He's playing a gay character on this uh, Be Cool movie. Oh, is he? The Get Shorty uh, sequel. Yeah. sequel. And um, I guess what happened, the WWE just let his contract expire really yeah and then uh so the rock isn't part of the wwe anymore but vince said it was just an oversight and that they want to work out a new contract with him right i'm well, sure they want to but all I don't he's think doing he now is to. special appearances yeah. he's not wrestling full-time he'll he just show up to. every now and then if i was the rock i mean he was so huge with the wwe wwf whatever you know i wouldn't actually wrestle anymore no why bother and risk the chance of you know uh you know, getting paralyzed or something. Bad he's a, injury. He's a big action action hero now. An actor. He's a he's a movie star. He doesn't need that. That's right. I mean, I respect the guys in the WWE, but would you take the 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 big chances that they do if you if you're a movie star? I think they're all gunning to to get into the position where they can leave. Right. You know. I mean, I'm sure they enjoy it, uh, but truth of the matter is, I'm sure they would love to be in The Rock's position where they get enough popularity, they can move on. There you go. All right. Uh. I don't know. We'll see where Jimmy went, and we'll continue in just a bit. It's the 